All right. So I'm handing back some homework, some graded homeworks, and there's a few things I wanted to say about the homework uh, that I'm handing back. Uh, first one is a couple of people um, made this uh, made this error. So this is. So this is notes on the homework. Um, P does not follow from Q is not the same as P implies not Q. All right? These are not the same. Some people, a lot of people did this when you should have done this on one of those exercises that I'm handing back. One of those graded exercises. And it's pretty easy to see why these are not the same. We can do a little truth table. Let's go P, Q. True, 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 false. False, true, false, false. And let's do, um, first of all, let's do Q. Well, let's do P follows from Q. Now, someone want to, Kale, you want to tell us what these entries are? Can you remember how the truth table works for? P does not follow from Q. No, no, no. We're doing P follows from Q. Oh, so, so this is the same thing as Q implies P. Remember the truth table for Q implies P? So it's true, true, false, true. Yeah, it's only... Yeah, well, it's, well, it's, only, it's only false in one place. Do you remember where that one place is? It's when, when Q is true. Well, 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 but we're doing this the other way around. It's when, remember, it's when this one is, there's only one place where this is false. It's when what? It's when this one is true and this one is false. Are you with me? Okay, so, okay, so where Q is true, this one and the, I, I, where this is true and this that this is the only place it's false. Are you with me here? Yeah. So what's it going to be? True, 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 false, true. True, true, false, true. And now how about so? And now how about P does not follow from Q? Okay, Mason. If does not follow from means is the same thing as putting a what? When you put a slash through a thing, what it's the same thing as doing what? Putting a knot out in front of the whole thing, right? So if you put a knot out in front of this whole thing, instead of being TTFT, it's what? Yes. F, F, true, false. Okay. Now, let's do, this is P implies not Q. So let's do not Q. All right. So Ben, if Q is true, false, true, false, not Q is what? Uh, false, true, false, true. Yes. Ah. <coughs> false, true. And now, Josh, what is this? P implies not Q. So there's only one place where this can be, there's only one place where this can be false, right? It's when what? It's when what? It's when this is what? That one's true. True. And, and one's this one's... Well, that total thing's false. This total thing's false. So, so this one... So when they're both true. So when P and Q are true. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 what is, so what is P implies not Q going to be? False, true, true, true. And what do we note? What do we notice about these two columns? Well, we do notice something. What do we notice? They are they the same? No. No, they're not the same. So this is not the same as this. Not the same. So some people wrote this when you should have written this, but you, they're not the same. If they were the same, it would have, would have worked. And now, here's another note that, that some people were, uh, noticed this. 
not, one of these solutions was, uh, was of the form not P and Q and R, right? Some, this is the same. No, yeah, does anybody know? Mm -hmm. What does this mean? This, remember what the, state, the statement was? They are not all true at the same time, right? Well, if they are not all true at the same time, what does that mean? That means that what? One or more are false. So how do you write that? Not, well, not, yeah, 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 that's exactly right. Not P or not Q or not R. So some people wrote it this way, some people wrote it this way, but in this case, both answers are correct. Can you distribute the not? Yeah, this, this, actually this happens to be one of the laws that we're, theorems that we're going to prove. It's De Morgan's law. Morgan. Yeah. And so, but some people recognize this. And so some people wrote it this way, some people wrote it this way, but both are correct. But here, this isn't the same as this. This is the correct one. Okay. So anyway, I thought that was uh, good. All right. Now, um, let's see, I didn't have time to get my... Slides up here. Okay. And we do have homework due today, and we will ask if there's any questions on the homework due today. So that's the next thing coming up. Okay, so yeah, you had three proofs. Let's uh, see what they were. I'm sorry, you had four. You're right, you did have four. Uh, so we did, last time we proved, I think we proved uh, true, we proved reflexivity, we proved another one. And what did you have for today? You had double negation, negation of false. Double negation, negation of false. Uh, 314 and 319. 314 and 319, mutual interchangeability. Yeah, so this is the first, haha, this is the first of uh, many a long journey, first few steps of a long journey. So, what did you think? Yeah, question. I just have a general question. Sure. For any of these, if we prove that one side is the same as the other side, that's the same. also proving it? Yes, actually, be, because you brought that up, I wanted to say more about that at the end of class last time. So let me, um, here, let me demonstrate that. That is, um, 3.6, that's this uh, principle, 3.6, this proof method. To prove that P equals Q is a theorem, you, trans you either transform P to Q or Q to P using Leibniz. I want to show you that, actually, uh, in a little bit more detail. Look, suppose that you want to prove, suppose that you want to prove that A equals B, all right? I mean, this is just in general. Suppose you have this you know, A equals B. And suppose that you know from some previous theorem or axiom, suppose you know that, um, that A equals X, okay? So you substitute. So now you have X equals B. Are you with me? And then suppose that you have from some previously proved axiom or theorem uh, the fact that um, uh, X equals Y. So then you substitute equals for equals and you have y equals b, okay? And then suppose that you have from some previously proved axiom or theorem y equals b. Then you would have b equals b. Now at this point, what would you do now that you've got b equals b? 
But well, yeah, which what you would say which is what would you quote? You would quote which one? Which is reflexive? Is it three five? Three, five, or? five or something? Uh, it's yeah, which is three five, right? So here you would say you would say which is. 3.5 with, uh, it's actually, 3.5 is P equals P. This is B equals B, but it's 3.5 with what? P replaced, by B. P replaced by B. Boom, boom, right? But look, <laughs> what this principle tells us, what does this principle tell us? This principle tells us that you can start with one side and get it to the other side, right? So here what you could do is this. Instead to prove A equals B, you can start with A. Now look how this would work. You would start, you would start with A, right? And now, but now, you know, you can, it's the exact same steps. This equals, by virtue of the fact that A equals X, what would, you, what would this be? X. X. But you know by virtue of the fact that X equals Y, what? Y. y. But you know, you know by virtue of the fact that y equals b, what? B. b. And so the exact same steps are here. You know, you'd be doing the exact same steps that you'd be doing here. And in the end, you know, you have b. But so why not just omit the equal, see look, omit the equals b, equals b, equals b, equals b, and just get a to b. So this shows that with the exact same steps, I mean, you can always convert a proof in this form to a proof in this form where you're getting it to a previously proved theorem. Do you see what I mean? It's just a mechanical equivalence. So there, th and so this justifies, this demonstration justifies why we can do this. Yeah? Yeah, so it, 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 one of the proof methods that we're, we're going to learn several, proof, um, several different proof, proof methods as we go. And one of them is, if you have a proof where you're trying to get one thing equal veil another, another thing, you can start with one and get it to the other, or start with the other and get it to the first, instead of starting with the whole thing and getting it to a previously proved theorem. And it's a lot less writing. See, equal veils B, equal veils B, equal veils B, equal veils B. You don't have to keep writing that down. You see? And look, here's another example. Uh, Yeah, two of them were like that on the homework. Yeah. If you wanted to do that. Yeah, well, yeah. You, I mean, it, th this is correct, you know. But I, it's, this is the preferable style. I did different. Well, that's fine. I, yeah, well, like I said, there's many different ways to, to prove this. Yeah, yeah, I said there, there's an infinite number of ways to prove the same thing. To prove the one thing. So anyway, are there so so you could actually use that technique on with uh, what did we do? Three point nineteen. Yeah. yeah. You could. <laughs> no, I'll give you some hints. I'll give you some hints. What, what, what's which? You want you want to work on three nineteen? Does some you have a question about three nineteen? Three twelve is the only one I had trouble with. Okay. Well. I have a general question. Yeah, three twelve was the hardest. Because you couldn't use like anything. Can you? Can you uh, okay, okay, hold on. Okay, so first off, another general question. So what's your question? Can you perform like multiple textual substitutions within like, like I, I said 3.19 with okay, so the P comma Q comma R replaced by Q comma P comma, comma Q. Absolutely you can. So here you're saying, okay, so the question was can you use, can you use, what, what did you use? I used, um, well first I did 3.16 replace. Okay, so the, the question is can you do 3.16? No, this is the next step. Okay, but what was in your hint? Okay, okay. In your hint. My, okay, I went from this. I went from P, not equals Q. From P, not equals Q. Not equals P. Not equals P. Equals Q. Equals Q. And I said. And you said equals by what? 3.19. 3.9, now you weren't proving oh, 3, 19, sorry, it was, uh, you couldn't be using 3.19 no, because, a different one, I just it. okay, um, because you can't assume what you're trying to prove. You got to use one that went yeah, before. Yeah, okay, and I did with, hold on, 3 point what, what are you using? I, I forget. I well, look it up, here it is, here it is, well, here it is. Which one did you? It was, it was the 
Um, I mean, if you're proving 319, you can't use 319. You've got to use one that went before. I think it was 18. You used 318? Well, 318 is just associativity. It's I mean, like the same thing, though. Damn it, I did use 319. Oh, you used 319, you're thinking. Yeah. No, no, no. You can't use 319 to prove 319. Oh, back to the drawing board. <laughs> I started proving the one below that. That's my problem. 391. Oh, 391. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, by the way, there's 3.19.1. Anytime there's a two digit. Uh, you know, I mean a 2, like 3.19 is in the book, 3.18 is in the book because it's a chapter and a number. But anytime there's a chapter and a number and another digit, that's not in the book. I, that's a theorem that I include in your handout that's not in the book. But, but they're, they're always stuck in, they're, they're always stuck in the order so that you still have to do, they can be proved from the previous ones. And they are ones that I have found useful later on. So, so my 3.19, oh, you know, back to the drawing board. Yes. I have a question. Sure. Like how, like, how could they, like, prove that, like, earlier that false equals not true, and then have, like, prove a whole bunch of other stuff, and then prove that not false equals true? <laughs> like, how can you do that? Well, using the, using all of these rules. Yeah, but couldn't you, like, just, like, imply? <laughs> no, 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 no. The, you, which one are you, which one are you having trouble with? You're having trouble with 3.8? No, 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 I'm not having trouble. I'm just like asking. Asking like how three, to... 3.8 and 13. Well, 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 okay, first of all, you, you don't prove 3... Oh, here's one other thing that I failed to mention last time. Notice that 3.8 says definition. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Axiom oh, and definition are synonyms. They mean the same thing. So anytime you see definition, it's the same thing as an axiom. All right? So those two words mean the same thing. So I will never ask you, I know that I did not ask you to prove 3.8, because 3.8 is a definition. That is, it's an axiom, and yeah. that's assumed. Okay? Are you with me? So if you're trying to prove 3.8, you must have written down the assignment wrong, because I'll ne I'd, I'd never ask you to prove that. I just didn't understand why, like, you could do 3, or 3.8 and is, like, the definition, but then you can't. it takes yeah. until 3.13 to figure out the exact opposite. Yeah. Why can't that be an axiom, too? No, well, why should it be? If you can prove it from something that went before, why should it be an axiom? Well, you could also... The whole, well, look, okay, 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 so here's what you're saying. A whole, no. let's, let, let's take your idea to the extreme. Why not just make them all axioms, and then we wouldn't have to prove anything? No, no. Well, why, well I mean, you know, because you they're make, all. Why couldn't you make three thirteen the axiom and then prove three? Oh, oh. Well, yeah. Maybe you could do it the other way around. There's uh, lots of different ways to set up the, what's the axiom and what's the theorem. But this is this has been given to us. And th but 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 you have you have a good point. Is that other systems are possible with different choices of a of which ones are axioms and which ones are not. In fact, later on, I have a, a little quibble with the author of our book. You know, I. Yeah, he, he uh, on one of them, I said, you know, this could be an axiom, and you could prove this from this, and so that, that, those kinds of issues do crop up every once in a while, but, but the point is, is that there's more than one way to do, to set up the system, and uh, this is the way that is, that is, is traditional in formal methods, in, in, with this style of formal methods, so we'll go with what they did, and you might, you might be right, it could have been, you know, maybe you, these could have been flipped, but still. But still, I don't think you would want them to both be axioms. I don't think you'd want both 3.8 and 3.13 to be axioms because you can get 3.13 from 3.8. Yeah. See, so you, are you with me yeah. on, on how the whole system is set up? I have another question. Okay, another question? Can you, like, use a theorem? Like, okay, here's, here's what I had. I had not parentheses Q equals P. Not parentheses Q equals P. Parentheses? No, no, not the equal equivales. Not Q. Close not Q. Close parentheses. Equivales P. Equivales P. I just wanted because I mean one of the theorems was distributing um, not over. Oh yes, 
Yes, distributivity. Well, well, of, distributivity of not over equivalents, right? Yeah. yeah. So I just wrote three point nine and just move guard the parentheses and put the not in front of the cube. Can you do that? You can. Now, why can you? The answer was he. The question is, can you just put the not in the queue and then leave this by itself? Yeah. The answer is yes, but do you know why? Yeah. It's with. Hold on. It's with, to do this step, if you say, to, to, to do this, to say equals not Q equivails P equivails not Q, what are you using? 3.9. You are using 3.9, but with what? 3.9, but with what? With, with Q. Q, uh, Q now, now, let me see. Q, Q is staying the same, right? No, 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 it's P. It's P yeah, with, 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 Q with P, Q P, yeah, 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 exactly. It's with P comma Q replaced by Q, right, because the first one, Q, and then, and then in, in place of the, in place of the, um, in place of the Q in 3.9, what do we have? P equals not Q. P equals not Q. So you, have so you see, time. you so you see, you are, you were using textual substitution in order to have in order to have it. This whole thing is it's like this is the first one and this whole thing is the second one. Yeah. So you have to you have to use that textual substitution. substitution. Well, that's what I, remember what I said last time. You're going to be what doing textual substitution like in your sleep. <laughs> yeah, I, I use three point nine for like everything. Oh, we forgot. Yeah, and we still need our equivalence P. Yeah. Right. Good. I mean, we still need to bring this down, right? Yeah. So we're substituting. Now, does everybody see this step? Yes. Kyle. Uh, quick question about the distributivity of the not. Distribu distributivity of the not. At you have made it, you use 3.9 with all of that, but could you have taken Q or the negation and put it in front of the P, so you'd have Q equals not P equals not P. That is a really good question. The, the, his question was, could you put this not, with 3.9, can you put the not in front of the other one? Can you put it in front of any of them? Can you put it in front of any of them? Because you'll have multiple ones within the program. Well, what do you think? The, well, the answer is yes, but how do you know? I mean, because... It, replace not P. No, no, no. See, here's, here's, here's the question. Here, let's write down the question. Here, the question is, can you do this? It's, it's not P equals Q. The question is, can you say this? Can you, is this the same thing as P equals not Q? In other words, can you put it in front of the second one instead of putting it in front of the first one? But why? You have to justify. Why can you do that? Yes, that's why. See if you cut, and, and what, what property is that? Uh, that's symmetry. That's symmetry. So, here, so here's how you would do it. I mean, here's how you, here's how you would, like four steps, yeah, yeah, it would. You would, you would, say, you would say equals um, Q equals, oh, oh, so sorry, by, what was symmetry, which one? By the way, okay, by the way, here's another tip. Some of these theorems have names. Once you learn the name, you don't have to go back and look up the number. You can just say the name. So we can just say, instead of saying 3.2, we could say symmetry. And then, and this is not Q equals P. Are you with me? Wait. Well, wait. No, 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 no. This is symmetry. Oh, well, maybe, uh, well, either way. Now, well, we could, take, we could take the second. No, I don't think we need sexual substitution for this. Because here's P equals Q. This one is P equals Q, and this is Q equals P. We no longer have to write P equals Q replaced by Q equals Q. No, 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 no. There's no textual, we didn't do textual substitution of going from no, here to here. No, not textual substitution, but you're saying using 3.2 will replace P equals Q with Q equals P. No, no, you don't have to do that. No, but you had us writing that in the note. 
you said write it out long. Oh, no, no, yeah. We're, we're, we're past that. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Actually, watch this. We're going to be past this. Watch this. So, so this would be, now, now this would be equals by equals, now what is the one with that? It's distributivity, is that uh, right? 3.9. So, but, but it's 3.9 with what? Because now the Q's in Q front. By, or QP replaced by PQ. With QP replaced by P. So it's, it's the other way around. PQ, PQ well, we, we usually did it in alphabetic order or whatever. PQ replaced by QP. Ah. <laughs> PQ, QP. And then this would be uh, not Q equals P. And then this equals by <laughs> symmetry again. Symmetry. Uh, P equals not Q. No, this is symmetry. No, this is the sym this is symmetry, right? Wasn't there one? This is symmetry with what? With uh, Q replaced by not Q, right? Because three point eleven is not P equals Q equals P equals not Q. Oh, maybe we could have used a different theorem. Yeah. Either way. Either way. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, who asked the original question? Can you put here? So the question is, can you put this in front of the second one? Okay. But anyway, and the, and this shows that you can. All right. So now that we've done this, that. now that we've done this once, we can just we can just use. Yeah, I'm not, we, we don't have to do this much detail in our proof. I have another question. Okay. So hold on. So from now on, what you can do is you can just in one fell swoop, you can you can say this. You can do this. Not P equals Q equals by uh, distributivity. P equals not Q. All right. So, but but we know actually to be really technical distributivity and symmetry. You know. We need to start symmetry and distributivity. Distributivity and yes. symmetry, right? <laughs> but what I'm saying is we're getting to the. I hope by now we you, you understand that we're going to be able to do some of those steps in our heads, in our collective head. So, so this is fine at this point because we've seen that, you know, how it works. I mean, is everybody clear on this? These are really good questions. I have another question, too. All right. It's, kind of, it's on, like, three, the, the difference between 3.18 and 3.19. The difference between 3.18 and 3.19. It's the exact same thing, but with parentheses. Well, 3.18 is associativity. I mean, 3.17 oh, and wait. 18 are associativity, and they require you yeah. to have the. Um, you need the parentheses. The pr well, in 3.17 and 3.18, we need the parentheses there because. Because they have the same prisons, don't they? Mm, well, doesn't the parentheses make the precedence go higher? No, but for example, the on the right side of 3.17. But the thing is, like, parentheses don't change the precedence for, like, if you put parentheses around a bunch of crosses, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, but look, but this, but these are, but these are, are they axioms? No. No, they're not axioms, they're theorems, right? Yeah. So if I ask you to, you could prove. No, I know that, but. You, you, you could prove each one of those. <laughs> but, but once, you once. You write your own parentheses in there. But once, once we have proved these, then we don't need the parentheses around a string of equal veils and not equal veils from now on, from then on. <coughs> but, I mean, technically, you would have to prove those. I don't think I assigned them, though, did I? I yeah. He just wants to, just turn, he wants to turn it into 3.18 so he can use it to prove 3.18. Turn what? He wants to turn what into 3.18? I realize, I realize I couldn't do that now. Because I'd be using 3.19. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Ooh, these are good questions. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> these, are, these are really good questions. And we are gearing up. The next assignment is don't wait until the last day to do the next assignment that's due Thursday. Because, you, because it's a little hairy. <laughs> it's... Um, yeah, this, the, the next one will be where the rubber meets the road. 
uh, for Thursday. So I encourage you to work on the assignment for Thursday tonight so that you'll have questions tomorrow. Great. <laughs> You're tired? You know, they've discovered a great um, doctors. There's a great cure for being tired. And it's cheap. Yeah, all you got to do is go to bed early. <laughs> anyway. Okay, any more questions about the homework that's due today? So we're all set. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's take a look then at some more proof techniques. And maybe a few more proofs to get us ready for next time. Um, let's see here. So, uh, so let me uh, point out 3.7 in the book. This is a meta theorem. Oh, actually, now maybe we can. Define what a metatherm is, because we know what a theorem is. Okay, definition of metatherm. It's a theorem of theorems. Okay, so metatherm. A metatherm is a theorem about theorems. Actually, that's kind of close to what you said. A theorem about theorems. Okay, so, um, and this meta theorem says any two theorems are equivalent. Now, you, does that make sense? Because look, what's the definition of a theorem? By it's, it's, it's equal to a previously proved theorem or axiom, right? So, and, but, we, but what do we know about equals? What are the four properties of equals? R-S-T-L, -S -S reflexive, symmetry, transitivity, and liveness. The key one there is transitivity. But how does transitivity work? If A equals B and C, then A equals C. So if, so if one theorem, so here, if... They can both be proved to be equal to the same earlier theorem. Yeah, so, so, so if this one equals this one, you know, if this, each one is equal to a one that went before, and that one is equal to any other one that went before, that means every one is equal to every one that went before, right? Yeah. And namely, one of those, and furthermore, one of those theorems is what? True. So they are all equivalent to true. Wow. You know, if you did the truth table for all of these, T, 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 T. Every single one of these, if you... But now, look how tedious. Can you imagine how tedious it would be to have to go through and, and go and say P, Q, R, P, not equal, da, 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 T, 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 and then the end, T, 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 T. I mean, give me a break, geez louise. Right? So this is why one of the reasons why we're doing proofs with, uh, with this deductive system, okay, as opposed to using truth tables. All right. Okay. Now, um, consider this. Um, let's do um, theorem 3.15. Let's prove theorem. Actually, let's see if you can let's see if you can uh, prove this for me. Okay, theorem 3.15. So we'll start 3.15. We're going to do not P equals P equals false. Okay, so 3.15, not P equals P equals false. And so here's the proof. And we're not allowed to just say using that meta theorem that we can't just change that to say 3.13 and then prove 3.13 again. 
Uh, no, 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 because you'd be assuming what you're trying to prove. Are you with me? The question was, can't we just say that this is equivalent to one that went before? But that's what we're trying to prove, is that that is a theorem. So that didn't work. OK, so, um, so I think what we should do here is we should start with, let's start with one side and get it to the other side, right? So the start side we're going to start with is not p equals p. <laughs> and you can say, OK, so this is equals. Ben says, well, that's false. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's, no, that's, 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 well, yeah, we can't do that. We can't, we can't just say, well, that's false. We got, how, well, how do we do this? Does anybody have any idea? No. no, we can't use 3.8 because... 3.9 and then 3.10. Okay, hold on. You want to use 3.9? I don't know where I'm going with this. You don't, okay, well, Wait, that's no, all right. 3.9 and then turn... Hold on, hold on. Okay, let's, let's try 3.9. Yeah, I don't know where... I, you know, I don't have any notes for this either, so... Who, who t I mean, who knows what, how to do this? True and then not true equals false. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's... Okay, so 3.9 with what? Q replaced by P. 3.9 with Q replaced by P. Okay, so uh, if with Q, so that's not P equals P. So that would take this not on outside of the whole thing, right? So this would be not P equals P. Is that right? Oh, we have an earlier one. Yes, Q equals Q. Uh, okay, so this equals by what? So just a 3.3 with uh, P with P. P. Yeah. Q with Q replaced by P. With Q replaced by P. 3.3 with Q replaced by P. This is not true. So not this would be not true. Now, don't we have a... Not true. Is don't we false? have a not true? Yeah, yes, it's 3.8. 3.3. So it, Wait. Yeah, 3.8. 3.8. 3.8, false. No, no, this is the proof. Now, 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 here's another, remember that little tip that I gave you, you guys. When you write out these proofs with that little red margin line, put that little red margin line right there, put the little equals on that side and end it here, okay? Do that for me. And don't put, I'm not going to mention any names, but you know who you are. Don't put 15 problems all on one page in little tiny mark. <laughs> when you put proof like that, how do we end it? Oh, here, whenever you're getting one side to the other, you don't have to quote. So here it's boom. Uh, are you with me? You don't have to like, draw a little arrow from the top. To no, 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 no. It's just boom like this. Because we're, it's, it's obvious that we're getting one side to the other side. Okay? Okay, so now look, that, now compare that with this. See, now consider the, you know, you have this proof here, right? Now watch this. Suppose we, suppose we did the whole thing. So it would be like this. Not P equals P, equals false. And then it would be 3.9. And then it would be not P equals P equals false. And then it would be identity of, of this with uh, Q equals P, and then it'd be not true equals false, and then that would be theorem 3.8. But see, that compared to this, here's the way we did it. Boom, 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 so boom, you knew boom. Was be done. Well, I mean, <laughs> I was hoping that you were going to take me down the same path, but, you know, I didn't know what path you were going to take me down. But which one of these is better? Top one. That's no, I don't think that we don't like the top one. Bottom one. Oh, I thought we liked the shortest one. Well, but it's not, well, it's shorter, shorter in terms of the number of steps. But the problem is it's equals false, equals false, equals false. That's bad style. Okay, so we're going to make a value judgment here about that being bad style. And so we're going to prefer this one, even though it's one step longer, but it's not equals false. We like this. And this is 
stated in the following. Structure proofs to avoid repeating the same sub-expression on many lines. Okay? So here it is, all spelled out. And, you know, I don't know why. There are some, <laughs> there are some people who never can get over this very first thing. And it, they always do. Ecovels, 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 and they carry that stuff down. And I always would mark on the no, don't, you know, use 3.22, for instance. And some people never get out of the habit. You know, they, so anyway, I encourage you to use principle 3.22. Does everybody understand what this, no. you don't understand what this is saying? See, look, what look, what's happening here is, oh, you exactly, see, this is the same, why do you, why do you say equivalence false, equivalence false, equivalence false? Oh, right, right, right. See, so why, why say equivalence false, equivalence false, and then equivalence false and be a theory? Why not just do this, and then this, and then this, and then this? This, what we're saying is... what so we 3.22 is just saying use... That. Do use this technique whenever, yeah. instead of using this technique, use this technique. Right. That's a proof theory. So that, well, I mean, they're both, yeah, they're both mathematically time, correct. Time the they're both mathematically correct. It's just a matter of style. And we're, we're just establishing some, you know, look, you guys, there's good proofs and there's bad proofs. All proofs, correct proofs, are mathematically valid. But we're, we can do better than that. We, we have some taste. We have refinement. <laughs> right? A, a little class, right? So you don't, I mean, some proofs, look, some proofs are just ugly. And other proofs are beautiful. You know, you know about truth and beauty? I mean, this is not just about truth. This is about beauty, right? We're talking about, you know, uh, beauty here as well as truth. Right, so so this is a this is a this is a more beautiful tr proof than this one, even though they're both mathematically correct. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad you agree. That's good. Okay, now here's another heuristic. Oh, uh, another uh, new vocab word here: heuristic. Oh, do you have a question? Yeah, I finished off that three point nine. You finished off the 3.19 okay. proof. Can I, can I do this? And the question is, hold on, let me get back to the, um, it's, it's hold on. Use of symmetry. Hold on. So you're saying you finished up the proof of, of this, and, you're, and you're, what's your question? I, my question is about some of my steps. Yes. It's about the use of, yeah, I'll just kind of explain it. Okay. okay. R, you're going to write it on the board. <laughs> okay. R equals P, not equals I just want to switch the P and the R, is that all right? You want to switch the R and the P? Yeah. Sure. Okay, cool. That's symmetry. You're using right. the symmetry one with Q or the Yeah. That's what yeah. Wait, and I because R equals P is P equals R. That's symmetry with yeah. PQ replace RP, right? I did, can, can, can you just write with Q replaced by R? Because remember how we did that? One side is the other side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. sure. Yeah, that's legal. I'm not sure why you need to do that in that proof, though. You need to work. Don't, don't worry. His proof probably isn't very beautiful. <laughs> His proof is probably not very beautiful. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, now, let, let me try to explain what a heuristic is. Unfortunately, I don't have a, I don't have a definition that I can write down here. <laughs> Who is it named after? I don't think it's named after Professor Heuristic. <laughs> unlike Boolean. Unlike Professor Boole. <laughs> His name is Heur. Heur. Hey, Heur. Um, no, a heuristic is, is um, it's an approach. You know, it's like a, what's another word that would be? Yeah, a technique. Yeah, that's a good one. An approach or a technique. Yeah, an approach or a technique to use to to do to to do some manipulation, some processing. All right. And this um, so this heuristic. This is our first heuristic that we're looking at here. Um, is this? It's called heuristic definition elimination. I'll just read it. It's kind of complicated, but to read in general. But 
To prove a theorem concerning an operator circle that is defined in terms of another, say, dot, expand the definition of circle to arrive at a formula that contains dot, then exploit properties of dot to manipulate the formula, and then reintroduce circle using its definition. Okay. <laughs> I knew you guys would. You need to exploit the dot. Okay. To illustrate the use of this heuristic, we're going to prove 3.16. Okay, are you ready for 3.16? Actually, I think, when, I think we'll prove 3.16, then we'll come back to the heuristic and we'll see that it's not as complicated as, it's, as, it, as it sounded at first. So let's try to prove 3.16. Here again, I don't have any notes, so you guys are going to have to help me. Okay, so 3.16, so here's 3.16. Uh, P not equal to LS Q. Equivales Q not equivales P. And we're going to start with one side and get it to the other using our previous principle. So now watch this. So we're going to start with P not equivales Q. Now the first thing is, um, and you are right. Oh, wait. Yes, you're right. We're going to use 310. Okay, so now here's what, we're, yeah, so what, so we want to, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a property of not equivales. What we're going to do is we're going to get it in terms of equivales that we know something about and then manipulate it on the equivales side and then get back to the, to the not equivales and then we'll have it. You see what I mean? So here's what we have. So it's P not equivales Q equals by, now what did you say? 3.10 and what will that be? Not P equals Q, right? Yeah. So so now this equals by now. What do we use? But now now we're using the, the symmetry of equals. Okay. And which one was that? That was three point two. So this is three point two. Symmetry. of equivales. So we're using symmetry of equivales, so this is not, oops, Q equivales P. Exactly, Q equivales P. And then this equals, and now we reintroduce the not equivales. But this time when we use 3.10, oops. By the way, you guys, make sure and put parentheses around your, uh, equi your theorem numbers, okay? Because in this, <laughs> Whenever we have a number that's not a theorem, like an exercise number or something like that, then we will not put parentheses around. So I'm going to be real picky about putting parentheses around these numbers. But anyway, this equals by uh, 3.10. But this time it's 3.10 with what? Actually, do we need? Actually, we do technically, right? 3.10. Yeah, yeah, with P, that's right, with PQ replaced by QP, all right? And then this is Q not equal to P. Boom, we're done. We got rid of the parentheses. I don't think we need parentheses here. What? And 310, they have parentheses. We roughed it. Yeah, we did, we did remove unnecessary parentheses. All right, can you prove that? Can you prove rough? <laughs> can you reprove, remove unnecessary parentheses? Well, you just have to refer to the table, the, table, the precedence okay, table. Can you just use 3.1? 3.1? What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? No, that's associativity. I know, but this that is not an associativity. That means you can this is not a. Well, we'll we'll end on that note, okay? So see you all. See you all tomorrow, and we will continue this madness. Oh yes, I do have extra copies of the.